Hey everyone, Stephanie here. We're doing a vlog. I haven't done one of these, just kind of like a casual, gotta get some stuff done, gotta get some errands done kind of vlog. So I just put on some makeup, like tried out um, a few different products. This is like my new favorite thing right here. This is the Fenty uh, Shadow Sticks in Come and Get It. Okay, so my favorite palettes are the Natasha Denona ones. So creamy, so blendable. I love this bronze one, the mini bronze palette. I used a ton, obviously, especially this one. The one that I have on today is the mini Biba palette. Um, it's still warm, but it's darker. So I use this one all over the eye. I use this one as like a little liner on the edge. And the thing about using like a darker brown that I always have issues with is I like don't pack on enough to make it look very saturated on my eyelids and then it gets patchy and separates. But I've been using this Fenty shadow stick underneath. When you put it on, it's creamy and you can really blend out the edges. Like you don't even need to really put a shadow on top if you don't want to, but you can really blend out the edges. You gotta do it fast, but it actually blends and it doesn't like drag your eyelids. And then I can put this color on top and I feel like I get a pretty good coverage. And then I also use the new um, Euphoria Date Night Skin Tint Serum Foundation in 245. I've really been liking this with like my concealer and stuff. And then for lips, we're gonna go, I've been wearing this like all the time. This is the Collagen Infused Lip Serum in Plush Peach by Buxom. Actually, you can really see in the bottle. I've like, whoa. I use this a lot. It has like a bit of a plumping, but it's not crazy. Like a uh, lip maximizer or something. Isn't that nice? I started airbnb my back house. Um, I'm not gonna post it on here. It's kind of like, if you see it, you see it on there. You know, I don't know, but I started airbnb so I had I have somebody there right now. It does take a lot of work to like get a space ready to be an Airbnb and to like, you know, have everything in it that people expect or want. And yesterday I had like an overhaul of cleaning and getting it ready for, um, there's a couple staying in there right now. Kind of just like shoved all my cleaning stuff back into my house. So I need to kind of clean that up fold some laundry. Tomorrow is my going out and getting things done. I have a couple watches here that I got a while ago now. These are two Timex watches. <laughs> eBay. I have this gold bracelet um, that my parents gave me uh, last year. A gold watch next to it would look pretty cool. So I have this one, which is a smaller one. It actually lights up, I didn't even realize. It has like a mother of pearl face and then it can light up. I just need to get a couple of the links out of this one, but it's functioning, it has a battery. This watch was like $7 or something and like the same for this one. If you look up like stretch band, gold, Timex, vintage watch, you have to sort through them but there are like some really good deals. You know what, I think this one was 11 and this one was seven because this one has a working battery in there, but it is disgusting between the links. So I, I, I have to see if they can clean that. It is so gross looking. I love the face of this and the font of the numbers. The face is scratched. That's why I think, yeah, this one was like seven bucks and there is no working battery in there. I kind of took a chance on this. So I gotta go to the jewelers, get that done. Oh, I knew it looked kind of weird. I feel like naked because I don't have any of my jewelry on. Wait, let's go to my bathroom really fast. Check this out. This is my new like favorite thing for cleaning in my jewelry. This is Diamond Drunk. Um, this is actually, a new company by Jared of Too Faced. It is a like very clean, safe product to clean your gold, um, platinum, diamonds, obviously. 
Um, certain things should not go in here, like softer jewels like jade and silver shouldn't go in here. It is a solution that you put in there. So you get this little bottle of solution. You put it in there and then you put water and it's good for a couple months. And there's all my jewelry, my gold. I can already tell that my gold is looking so nice now. Let me take all my gold out. Oh, actually, by the way, <laughs> it comes with this little brush. I think that you can just keep it inside there with the jewelry. I made this little gold hook just out of some wire and I glued it onto the container so I could just hang the brush like that. <laughs> and you get this little tray, which is very nice glass. So you kind of like buy the starter kit, which is everything like the container and we got you know the innards this thing right here but then continuing forward all you have to do is buy the small container of the cleaning solution Whoa. we interrupt our regularly scheduled programming for today's video sponsor pet cube this is the pet cube bites to light this is a treat flinging camera. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't really know what to expect from this thing, but it is so effective. You can either just set it on a surface, obviously secure one, not like this little table. This is just for demonstration purposes, um, or you can also mount it. We have a 160 degree wide angle lens. I have a couple other security cameras and I feel like this is better than those ones. It has a night vision mode, eight times digital zoom, and also there's two way audio and pet detection. So you can get notifications triggered by sound and motion. It's really fun to fling the treats and you actually have control over how far the treats are flung. If you're looking for a camera and you got your pet in mind, I think this is a great option. The app, very easy to use. And I think for what it is, this treat camera combo, the price is good. The retail price is $99.95. I have a 10% discount for you with Stephanie via 10. Make sure to check the description for the link to the Pet Cube Bite 2 Lite. All right, let's get back into it. I feel like I can really tell the difference, but that's just me with my, like, especially these, look, it's like so bright. Wow, I'm gonna put it on screen. Um, my new favorite little hoops that I wear every day. This is really nice. Actually, my mom and my aunt got me this for my 33rd birthday. We went in um, to the jeweler in Oakland and it just fits on my finger perfect. It's like very flush. This is the other um, bracelet that I wanted to bring into the jeweler to get shortened so i'm gonna do that these two are my grandma's rings actually sorry i have this like ugly <laughs> band-aid on my finger i cut my finger a couple days ago these are um, yellow diamonds natural yellow diamonds so these two are from my grandma my dad's mom my aunt passed away she left me a ring pretty much looked like an engagement ring <laughs> so I turned it into a necklace. If and Co, they did it for me. My sister taught me this too, and it t makes total sense. Um, diamonds pair much better with white gold or platinum because it helps, it makes them look shinier because it's like silver behind, so it's more white and it can kind of make them look more dazzly instead of having gold behind. So I'm glad I put it on this chain. And I love how like significant this chain is. These kind of chains are hard to come by. That's what my jeweler said, because I wanted another chain like this. This is a, my mom's chain. She gave this chain to me. It's just a bit thicker. I, I wanted one that's not like super delicate. I like a little meteor guys. Meteor. 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 I don't think this is for everybody, but at least for her, she was saying that they're not getting these kind of chains right now. Like she was like from Italy, they're not sending them, they're not making them. So she had none 
to show me even like this size, which is not even that thick. I feel like I answer this over and over again and I feel so bad but when people ask me like, oh, where do you get your jewelry from? I'm like, Oakland, Chinatown. Most of my jewelry is either from family or my Oakland Chinatown store. And you know, if you're close to there and you need some jewelry, 100% go. There are some rings like this one. Other than these earrings, this is another ring that I got from an online store. I actually can't remember. I'll find it and I'll link it, but this is my 1990 ring. It fits on my ring finger perfect. I realize that I like very low profile rings. So even this diamond one, I didn't wear it for a long time because it was too sticky outy for me. But then paired with this um, signet ring from Renvi, this was a gift, gorgeous. I love it so much. They pair so well together. They really balance each other out. So this combo, now I love wearing. One additional new ring too. This is a custom ring from Soft Good Studios. She's based in Oakland as well. And I actually need to visit her. This is meant to be a pinky ring and it's just, it's too loose, but too small for any other finger. Um, I've tried using those little like plastic backings and stuff. It just, it's too small for that to work. Um, so yeah, I just need to go visit her and have her size it down for me. But this is my mom's last name, Young. Um, and she made like a custom design for it. So it's so gorgeous. I didn't realize this video <laughs> has all of a sudden become like my jewelry. Didn't mean for it to start off like this, but that's how it's going, I guess. Yeah, this one I got from my jewelry in Chinatown. They have so many cute things too. Like it's hard to decide. Go for some gold and uh, support, where am I? <laughs> support a Chinatown business. And then we have this diamond bracelet from the auction. It's an older style for sure, but I got a really good deal on it. There are certain pieces of jewelry if you're looking for something like this. Like you could buy it from like an Etsy shop, a vintage jewelry Etsy shop, but because they are buying from the auctions or like more probably like estate sales and stuff and then reselling it, you're paying for that, but you could just bid on it yourself. Make sure you have a budget though. Damn, I just like kind of filmed the B-roll for my jewelry right now. Eczema has really, really messed my skin up, bro. I feel like my hands look so old. And I wish I hadn't cut this finger. I have like a big gash right here on my finger, so. My hands are a lot better though because I have a like lotion or I guess, is it a steroid? I don't know. It, it's one that actually works, but I put it on for two weeks and then I take one week off and then two weeks and one week off. But within that one week off, then my eczema kind of comes back. So I just had my week off. Today's the first day I'm putting it back on again, but for sure, eczema came back. I guess that's also why I'm so stoked like on my jewelry because for the last like year, almost two years, I guess, I haven't been able to wear any rings because my hands have been so messed up. Wearing rings, it's almost like you're highlighting your fingers and I was just like, ugh, they were so gross. Okay, I'm gonna go put these away. Oh, okay, so tomorrow there's a framer near my house and they have like a Yelp deal. So it's $100 for $40. So I was like, whoa, okay, that's a pretty good deal. But I cross-stitched this for Carly. Um, Michael's sister just had a baby and her name is Molly Michael. My plan is to make it into, like frame it as a wall hanging. <laughs> Why can't I talk? If you're interested in this uh, cross stitch design, it's actually a downloadable design from Etsy. What's up everyone? Really weird angle because I'm putting pants on right now. Oh, I'm so hot though. Um, my neighbors just helped me take the top off my Jeep. I bought a soft top, okay, for my Jeep, thinking I could put it on myself and 
I can't put it on myself. The box has been getting rained on. It's just in a very sorry state, but I need to put that on my Jeep. And I thought I had somebody who could help me, like I'd pay them, but now they've ghosted me. Um, I think my neighbor said that they would help me, but I don't really want to put that on them. Like I'd, I'd want to like maybe pay somebody, you know, to help me. Cause it's not something easy. It's, it's a kind of a complicated ordeal. Anyone out there who knows a mechanic or somebody who does Jeep stuff, um, please have them DM me on Instagram, please. Because I also cannot take the soft top. It's so heavy and big. I can't take it anywhere. It got delivered to my house. So the person who needs, who'd help me would need to come to my house. We're going to Elmer's Jewelry and then we're going to Castle Framers in Highland Park. Just got out of the jeweler. I have to um, pick up my bracelet tomorrow, but it looks so cute. The other one, so he couldn't um, clean in between the links. So I have to go home and like do that myself. It's nice. This one's kind of looser than the other one, but uh, Oh yeah, well, I'll wear it right now and see how I like it because I have to return tomorrow anyways. But it was uh, 16 bucks total for the shortening plus the new battery. Look how cute this is. I wonder why that's made out of. not appropriate for a child. <laughs> but cool. That's what it is. You don't like to frame that in hand. It was the use like purchasing it for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Ooh, I like those kind of squiggly ones. I mean, that could be a cute, like if you wanted to do the wavy ones and do all of them a different color. Oh, like we can do something like that? Yeah. Just got home really fast um, to drop off some things and grab Josie, cause we're gonna go to the P-A-R-K. There's some stuff that happened at the framers, but when we get home, I will tell you about the framers cause I don't wanna like lose daylight right now. It's still so hot out. Let me see how hot it is. It's 88 degrees at 6 p.m. <laughs> okay, let's see. All right, get your ball. You're drinking too much water, bro. You're gonna throw up. Josie, come on, get your ball. <laughs> come on. Oh. <laughs> Okay, you can go. Go ahead. Good girl. Oh my gosh, my lips are really also very dry. Lip alchemy, everyone. Love this stuff. I know this is kind of glossy and there's a tint, but I love wearing it at home. This is a... Uh, 
my sister and Chloe Morello's brand, Sereni, their lip alchemy with Visiplump. It's almost as if you were to take like the Laneige uh, lip sleeping mask and add a little bit of plumper to it and put it in a tube. I'm so hot and sweaty right now. <laughs> I usually, like if I'm gonna give Josie a bath after being at the park, cause she like laid down in mud today. Yeah, I usually will just take a shower at the same time with her in there, like what's happening? Uh, but I actually wanted to show you my makeup from today and also just like, you know, finish up talking to y'all. Look how this held up. I mean, I was in direct sunlight. The wind will definitely, you know, mess with your makeup. And I feel like it's it on real nice. And I didn't even really mean for it to be a long wear uh, makeup. And I think it's because I started using this, the Fenty Skin Blemish Defeater. I feel like a lot of people are talking about this right now. If you have um, like active breakouts or acne scars or anything at all, you put this as like the first thing before even your moisturizer, after you wash your face and you let it dry down completely and then you put on your moisturizer and it, it just like kind of seals it in and creates a more smooth surface because right now I got a lot of stuff going on right here to be honest and here and some stuff here but maybe it's just me maybe when I look back at this footage I will see a lot here but I really I don't feel like you can see that much texture which is amazing so yeah I started using this but I also use this the glow recipe strawberry BHA pore smooth blur drops this is my first time actually using this, but I use them, I use like this as my primer, you know? So there was this, then my moisturizer, SPF, and then I use this. So maybe this combo is really good. I'll try it out like, you know, one at a time without each other. Honestly, ever since I got the Jeep, oh, this is like years ago, I'm almost done paying it off actually, um, cause I bought it used. I'm really close to paying it off, which is so crazy. But ever since I got it, I enjoy driving so much more. Like I actually, I look forward to it. It's honestly such a mood lifter and so nice just to be driving with the top down and the weather being so nice. It definitely like boosts something inside of you. <laughs> so let's talk about why I'm actually sitting down here. So went to the framers. The person who was helping me was so helpful. I didn't feel rushed. I feel like in that situation, like framing, I don't know, not that framing something is very pretentious, but you know, people go to frame their art and I'm coming in trying to frame this guy. The person before me had this like beautiful yeah, piece of art that they were framing. And then I come in, I'm like, da, 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 da. <laughs> but I personally have framed a couple pieces, yeah, a, a good number of pieces before, and there is a specific way that I like it to look. They were they were maybe half the size of this though. Pretty much what I would do is do an acid-free board, it's pretty thick. I put a piece of batting in between the board and the embroidery, so it kind of like has a bit of like body, and then I would pin it, because there's kind of foam in the middle of a mat, you, you pin it, where you want it to be. And then I would sew back and forth, back and forth, back and forth to secure. And then the other way as well. That's like kind of the traditional way. They did it in a different way. And I also did not want glass. That also was, I guess, not typical, but I think a lot of people who do these kind of art, like cross stitch, they don't like to do glass because it kind of, it takes away from the stitching and like the texture and there are products. It's almost like a scotch guard that you can use to protect the uh, stitches and protect the fabric. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and maybe get it all prepared, ready to go, and then just have them put the frame on. Did I even explain this before? Because the whole reason why also, like the biggest reason why I went to go talk to them. It's not a typical size 
I don't know why it turned it turned out to be this size or why this was designed like this. Maybe it's like a European size or something, but in inches, it's a very, it, it's not something that I can just buy a frame to uh, at the store. So there was one kind of design that wasn't, you know, crazy expensive, but also pretty unique. And it was this like wavy uh, wood design. And that, with me matting this myself and bringing it in, but then making the frame and also like the backing and everything. So it's all very secure with the like hangy thingy too, um, would be 120. But then with the coupon thing, I would get $60 off. Like not bad, right? For a custom frame. Also because there's no glass. So 60 bucks for a custom. I just want this to be something that Carly, Michael's sister would actually want to like hang. And I think, I think it's not too big or intrusive. I was kind of worried about that. You know, you're handing somebody something like that's really big, like here you go, put this in your baby's room. <laughs> For those of you just getting in to cross stitch or something, something like this, I would definitely go for something smaller than this. But what was fun about this is that it's almost like you have like one, two, three, four, five, you know, you have all these individual parts. So you never get bored doing it. If you kind of get frustrated or something with one section, then, you know, you can start another area. Like I was kind of doing all the letters while I was doing something else. I will definitely uh, vlog once I figure the framing situation out. All right, that's it for this vlog, I think. We had a fun couple of days. It was a lot about jewelry, which I had other things planned, to be honest, but I'm glad I, I got like some of this stuff done. Make sure to check out the description for all the pet cube info. Honestly, if you're looking for a camera, it's, it's pretty great. And also I'll list, of course, my Oakland Chinatown uh, jeweler and the places I went to today. I do have a couple more videos very fast after this one. Um, my Nashville vlog and also another vlog that I planned. So we're, we're pumping them out. I really want to keep the momentum going. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Love y'all. Bye.